The Hindenburg disaster was an airship accident that occurred on May 6, 1937 in Manchester Township, New Jersey, United States. The LZ-129 Hindenburg registration number was DLZ-129 for the German commercial passenger carrying rigid airship, the lead ship of the Hindenburg class, the longest class of flying machine and the largest airship by envelope volume. It was designed and built by the Zeppelin company and was operated by a German Zeppelin airline company. It was named after the Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg, who, has, who was President of Germany from 1925 until his death in 1934. It caught fire and was destroyed during its attempt to dock with its mooring mast at Naval Air Station Lakehurst. The accident caused 35 fatalities, 13 passengers, 22 crewmen from the 97 people on board, 36 passengers and 61 crewmen, and an additional fatality on the ground. The disaster was a subject of news reel coverage, photographs, and Herbert Morrison's recorded radio eyewitness reports from the landing field, which were broadcast the next day. A variety of theories have been put forward for both the cause of ignition and the initial fuel for the ensuing fire. The publicity shattered public confidence in the giant passenger carrying rigid airship and marked the abrupt end of the airship era. At the time of disaster, sabotage was commonly put forward as the cause of the fire, initially by Hugo Ackner, former head of the Zeppelin company and the old man of German airships. In initial reports before inspecting the accident, Ackner mentioned the possibility of a shot as the cause of a disaster becoming of threats threatening letters that had been received but did not rule rule out other causes Agner later publicly endorsed the static spark hypothesis including after the war at the time on lecture tour in austria he was awakened at about 2 30 in the morning Lakehurst time and approximately an hour after the crash, by the ringing of the bedside telephone, it was a Berlin representative of the New York Times with news that the Hindenburg exploded yesterday evening at 7 p.m. Above the airfield at Lakehurst, by the time he left the hotel in the next morning to travel to Berlin for a briefing on the disaster, the only answer that he had for the reporters waiting outside to question him was that, based on what he knew, the Hindenburg had exploded over the field. Sabotage might be a possibility. However, as he learned more about the disaster, particularly that the airship had burned rather than actually exploded, he grew more and more convinced that static discharge rather than sabotage was the cause. Charles Rosendell, commander of the Naval Air Station at Lakehurst and the man in the overall charge of the ground based portion of the Hindenburg's landing manure, came to believe that the Hindenburg had been sabotaged. He laid out a general, ship, general case of the sabotage in the book What About the Warship? worked about the airship, which was as much as extended argument for the further development of the rigid airship as it was a historical overview of the air